students in present video i'm going to explain about 17th problem from triple column cash book topic i'm taking this question from telangana state telugu academy inter first year accountancy test book but this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about this topic so previous videos links are available in the description box this is triple column cash book we can also call it as three column cash book otherwise cash book with discount cash and the bank columns all are same so even though we wrote cash book format is account format so debit side and the credit side debit side you have date column particulars lf number ledger folio number discount allowed cash and bank credit side also same only the difference is instead of discount allowed discount received column in this table at a time we are going to prepare these two accounts cash account and bank account and discount column is a memorandum column in previous problems clearly explained about this memorandum column discount column as three amount columns we have for discount cash and bank this table is known as triple column cash book in question starting two sentences are there no cash at bank cash in hand these two are known as opening balances so cash in hand means what so this book is prepared by the firm in firm's cash box so the cash balance on the starting date of the month is known as cash in hand this is an asset so asset shows a debit balance no therefore opening cash balance always we have to write on debit side second sentence is cash at bank no means we have one bank account so in that account on starting date of the month we have some balance this is called favorable bank balance so this is an asset therefore bank balance also debit side only we should write and the remaining sentences are known as transactions so to record the transactions in triple column cash book there are two methods first one is journal entries method so for every transaction there will be one journal entry we should think that journal entry and that journal entry we should post in the triple column cash book second method is hints method so in present video i am going to explain this second method hints method see here cash account bank account we are preparing no so cash account is a real account because cash means asset no what is real account rule debit what comes in credit what goes out so in firms books we are preparing this book to the firm if cash is coming debit side cash column we should write from the firm if cash is going credit side cash column we should write so for cash column remember this hint then for bank column so we have money in our bank account because of a transaction suppose our bank balance is increased assume that we deposited money into bank so because of this transaction bank balance increases no when bank balance is increasing debit side bank column we should write that suppose from bank account we withdraw money so from the bank we are withdrawing the money so bank balance decreases no if bank balance decreases credit side bank column we should write that transaction so for cash column if cash is coming into the firm debit side if cash is going from the firm credit side for bank column the hint is because of a transaction if our bank balance is increasing debit side bank column if bank balance is decreasing credit side bank column so first opening balances we will write 17th problem i am written on the board see on 1st february 2019 cash balance 12000 bank balance 8000 are given these two are known as opening balances no opening balances debit side we should write in cash column 12000 rupees in bank column 8000 rupees for opening balances date is 1st february 2019 For opening balance, what to write? Two balance brought down. 
Next, remaining what transactions. So for transactions, what is the rule? If cash is coming, debit side. From the firm, if cash is going, credit side. Because of a transaction, if bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column. If bank balance is decreasing, credit side bank column. See, checker issued to Rama 3950, discount 50. So discount allowed or discount received not given clearly. See, when we give check, we receive discount. So this is discount received. Okay. We have to pay 4,000 rupees to Rama. So as a final settlement, we paid 3,950 to her. How we paid? By issuing one check. Issue means giving. So then Rama goes to our bank. She presents the check and she takes the money. So bank balance is decreasing. Credit side bank column. 3950 on third date 3rd February 2019 3950 in bank column in discount column discount received about 50 rupees to whom we issued this check to Rama so write down her name by Rama account next 6th date cash sales 4500 what we sold? Goods. So we sold goods to customer for cash. So goods are going and from customer cash is coming. As cash is coming, debit side cash column. Sixth date, 4500. Goods are sold. So in particular column, right? To sales account. Next, 10th day. Cash deposited into bank 2500. This is contract, you know. When cash is deposited into bank or when cash is withdrawn from bank. These two are contra entries. Contra entry two times we should write. Cash deposited into bank. So from the firm cash is going. So credit side cash column. 2500 on 10th date. In bank we deposited cash. So bank balance increases. Debit side bank column. 10th date. Now come to particulars column. In bank column we wrote amount. So we have to write other word to cash account. If you write the amount in cash column here we should write to bank account. As this is contra entry in LF number write down C. Next step, credit side. In cash column we wrote amount now. So in particulars column write other word that is bank account. If you write amount in bank column, here we should write by cash. This is contra here, C. 10th date completed. Come to 18th date. Received cash from Mohan 2800. Check 5800. Discount 400. What is the meaning of this? 2800 plus 5800 plus 400. Total. 9,000 rupees we should receive from Mohan. As a full settlement, Mohan has given 2,800 cash. For 5,800, he issued a check. And 400 is discount to us. We are receiving money now. So we allow discount. So this is discount allowed. And in brackets he is giving that this check 5800 worth the check we deposited into bank on the same day so what happened here cash is coming 2800 check came on the same day we deposited that check into bank so bank balance increases our assumption is on the same day bank collected money and deposited in our account so bank balance increased discount allowed 400 2800 cash is coming. When cash is coming, debit said cash column we should write now. 5800 worth check will be deposited into bank. On the same day, bank collected the money. That is our assumption. So 5800 directly in bank column. Discount amount 400 in discount column. Date is 18th. 
from whom we received this cash and check? Mohan. So here write down to Mohan account. Suppose in brackets he has not given the check deposited with the bank. Then what is the meaning of that? Cash came 2800. Check received 5800. But on the same day we have not deposited check into bank now. Our assumption is this 5800 also cash only. So 5800 plus 2800. Total 8600 in cash column only we should write. In discount column 400 rupees. So next when this check is deposited into bank. On that day we should assume that cash is deposited into bank. Means it becomes a contract. Okay. So 18 is completed. Come to 20. Purchases 3400. What we purchased? Nothing is given. Means goods are purchased. How we purchased? No information. Means for cash we purchased. So for cash, firm purchased goods. So goods are coming, cash is going. As cash is going, credit said cash column. 20 day 3400. When goods are purchased in particular column, we have to write by purchases account. On 23rd day, Mohan's check dishonored for this amount is not given because Mohan's check is available here now 5800 rupees. So on 18th date, we deposited Mohan's check into our bank account. And we assumed that bank collected that money, deposited in my account. So our bank balance is increasing. So 5,800 we increased. But on 23rd date, we came to know that this check is dishonored. Dishonored means bounced. Means money is not collected by the bank. So bank balance is not increased. But we wrote that bank balance is increased. So now this we should cancel. So don't strike off this. That is not the method of canceling the amount. In accounts, how to cancel? Debit amount if you want to cancel. Opposite side. Credit side we should write. And vice versa. Credit amount if you want to cancel. Debit side we should write. Now debit amount I want to cancel. So same 5800. Credit side bank column we should write. Date is. Dishonored date 23rd. What to write in particular scholar? For this 5800, we wrote to Mohan account, write on the same account name by Mohan account. So, what is the final effect of this? This debit side 5800, credit side 5800, both will get cancelled automatically. Finally, nothing was debited. See, Debit said we wrote that bank balance is increased by 5800. Credit said we wrote that bank balance is decreased by 5800. What is the end result of that? No increase, no decrease. Next, 24. Rent paid by check 1000 rupees. So we have to pay rent to landlord. Instead of giving cash, we should check. Then that landlord goes to our bank and he takes the money. So bank balance decreases, credit side bank column, 24th day, 1000 rupees. In particular column, expenditure name we should write. Expenditure name is rent and all. buy rent take out. Come to last transaction, drew from bank for office use. Drew means withdrew. So we have taken money from the bank for office use. So this is contra entry you now. Cash deposited to bank, cash withdrawn from bank, both are contra entries. Two times we should write. Cash is coming into the firm. So debit said cash column. From bank we withdrew. So bank balance decreases. Credit said bank column. For these two, as this is contra entry in LF number, write down C. Here also C. Date 28th. 2. In cash column, we wrote the amount. So write bank account. If you write the amount in bank column, here we should write cash. Similarly, here also 28th date buy. In bank column, we wrote the amount. So here you have to write cash account. 
if you write the amount in cash column here we should write bank so all transactions we have posted in the account finally we have to balance this so discount columns we should not balance put the totals debit total 400 credit total 50 cash and bank columns we should balance cash debit column total is 20,900 credit column total 5,900 difference 15,000 credit total is less no so credit said we should write 15,000 rupees in cash column bank debit column bank total is 16,300 credit column total 12,350 credit is less so the difference 3,950 credit said we should write for these two date is last date of the month this is 2019 february so 2020 is a leap year in february 29 days will be there 2019 is ordinary year so last date of this month is 28 for answer we should write balance carry down two sides highest total for cash 20,900 for a bank 16,300 as you are a student only for February month we prepare but in, in reality when you work in any organization every month you have to prepare cash book like this so what is the next month after February March now 1st March 2019 2 we are bringing the balance now so write it to balance brought down in cash column 15,000 rupees in bank column 3,950 what is the meaning of these answers month starting in our firm 12,000 money is there in February month we received 4,500, 2,800, 1,600 so total receipts in February month is 20,900 in February month we paid 2,500, 3,400 so at the end of February month, with us, 15,000 should be there as per accounts. So in reality also, when you count the cash on 28th February, 15,000 should be there. Similarly, bank column answer meaning is, on 1st February, in our bank account, 8,000 rupee balance is there. In February month, we deposited 2,500 and 5,800. And we withdrew. 3950, 5800, 1000, and 1600. So at the end of the month, in our bank account, 3950 balance should be there. This balance we have to compare with the passbook bank balance. Passbook is prepared by bank people now. So if a passbook bank balance, cash book bank balance, both are same, then okay. If both are not same, then we have to prepare bank reconciliation statement. That is another lesson. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.